It was 2014 when single mother Mary Anna Duarte found a lump in her right breast. Instead of having a biopsy to check if she had cancer, she chose to look into alternative medicines peddled online. Eduarte, who makes a living selling beauty products on platforms like Facebook, came across adverts for anti-cancer food supplements. Yun po kasi may sinasabi po nila na nakakagaling nga daw po ng cancer. So ako naman po na kumbaga parang <clears throat> natakot sa operation or kasi pag sinabi po kasi yung cancer, hindi po ba alam po natin na parang it's a la matter of life and death na. So yun po yung, yung, yung isip ko that time. Uh, so kaya po nagtry ako ng medication na sabi nga po nakaka-cure ng cancer, nakakatunaw ng cancer cells na hindi na kailangan ng chemotherapy. Kaya nagtry po ako nun. Hindi po ako agad nagpakino. In 2016, Eduarte finally agreed to have a biopsy, which confirmed the tumor was cancerous. She refused chemotherapy, fearing it would cost her financially and physically, and took supplements for another three years. After her cancer spread to other parts of her body, Eduarte gave in to professional treatment. Pero ako na po yung nagsasabi sa inyo, in seven years, na take niya, two, two years before chemo, then five, uh, five years ulit, hindi po natanggal yung aking sakit. Kaya much better po na pumunta po tayo sa tamang doktor at doon po tayo magpagamot. Alternative medicine trends boomed online during the COVID-19 pandemic when healthcare systems were overwhelmed and people were terrified to visit the hospital. Eduarte spent about 50,000 pesos a month on food supplements, including drinks made from tropical fruit and barley grass. That's more than what she would have paid on standard medical procedures. There is a need for um, greater information dissemination, especially around treatment. So most of the patients would opt for alternative uh, medicine, thinking that uh, they would save more or it will, uh, it will be less expensive than the traditional chemo treatment. Plus believing that because this is usually the mindset that we get is that this is organic, this is natural, so it's better than chemo treatment. After surviving cancer, Eduarte has made it her mission to educate others about the dangers of online misinformation. Naniniwala ako na lahat ng pinagdadaanan natin na alam ni Lord para matuto ka. And at the same time, pagka napagtagumpayan mo yung journey, makakapag-share ka ng tama. Doon sa mga tao, maaaring dumaan din o magkaroon din ng, ng, ng experience na kagaya ko. So, every time na may mag ask sa akin na kung tama ba yung ganito-ganyan. Nakakapag-advise ako ng tama sa kanila kasi napagdaanan ko siya.